Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So today, it's the day, it is packing day which is crazy. So today I'm going to be packing for our Walt Disney World honeymoon which is in four sleeps time from the time that I filmed this video. So today is Thursday, I'm actually working Friday, Saturday and Sunday and then we leave Monday morning. So I don't have very long at all and um, so I need to get the bulk of my packing done today and so I thought I would put the camera on and we can pack together. Um, of course I'm going to have to do kind of the last minute things on Sunday night but I can get the majority of my clothes packed which I always think is the most interesting part of a packing video so I thought I would share all of those with you today so yeah let's get packing! So I have my cup of tea which is in my Adventure is Out There mug because I thought that was a very apt mug because Adventure is out there and I literally, I just can't believe we're going still. It feels surreal. So I'm filming this on Thursday. If this goes out, it means that we are there. But tomorrow we have our test, which we have to do before the flight. So that is the last kind of big hurdle that we need to get over before we can go. So fingers crossed, if you're seeing this, it means we made it. So the first part of this video is very kindly sponsored by Anna Luisa Jewellery and if you've watched the channel for a while you'll know that I've worked with Anna Luisa about three or four times now which is amazing. Um, they are one of my favourite jewellery brands, uh, they're based in New York and I just love the message behind their jewellery and yeah I'm really excited to work with them again. So they have sent me three new pieces of jewellery to unbox with you all. I am very, very excited. I haven't had a proper look because I wanted to look properly with you. So what I love about Ana Luisa is how environmentally conscious they are. So this box is all made out of 100% recycled paper and yeah, it's all recyclable. And then all of the jewellery comes in these really cute pouches and these are gonna be perfect for when I'm packing my jewellery because I can put all of them in one and just take it with me uh, which would be amazing because it means it would keep, keep them all safe. Okay so the first piece are these beautiful gold hoops and I don't know if you can see but they're like a double hoop which just makes them that much more unique. I really like the size of these as well, they're the perfect everyday hoop because they're not too big and that double hoop effect. Um, just makes them stand out a little bit more without being like a really big hoop. So yeah, I'm definitely going to bring these on holiday with me. I believe these are called the Toda earrings. And yeah, I'm really pleased with these. I really wanted a nice pair of everyday hoops. So this is them on. I just think they're really delicate and really pretty. And like I said, they're just the perfect everyday hoop. So I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of these on holiday. Oh, it's so exciting! <laughs> New jewellery for the holiday. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> so next, I believe, is another pair of earrings. Oh, and I saw these on the website and I loved them. Again, they're another pair of hoops. I must have been in like a hoop mood <laughs> when I was picking some out. But I love these. So these are a little bit more of a statement hoop. They're not huge, um, but they're definitely more of a statement with that design around the edge and they're just a little bit thicker than these. So yeah, they are a little bit bigger um, than these more delicate hoops, but these are definitely one to wear if you wanna make a little bit of a statement, maybe in date night or in the evening, uh, you can transfer from like an everyday hoop to these. And I love them. Again, they're really light as well. So they don't feel like, you know, those heavy hoops that sometimes drag your ear down. So these are called the Paris Hoops on the website if you wanted to check them out but I'm definitely going to bring these along with me as well. I can imagine wearing these with like a really nice maxi dress with these hoops, a little bit of a statement lip and then I could wear that to Disney Springs on a date night, maybe when we go to the boathouse. And then last but not least, oh we have a necklace. So this necklace is really pretty. You can see a bit of a close up there. So it's got like little balls on the chain and then it kind of reminds me of a sun in the middle. 
again it's just really dainty really pretty but then also a little bit different i haven't seen many necklaces um with that design so this is called the rebecca on the website if you wanted to check it out like this will go with so many of the summer dresses um, that i have to pack put it on so you can have a closer look so there's a closer look of it on it's a really nice length I really, really like the length of it. And I think this is gonna go so lovely with those summer dresses. Um, there we are. You can see it next to the skin. It's really, really lovely. So a huge thank you to Anna Louisa for sending me all these pieces. I feel very, very spoiled and I am very excited to bring them all with me on holiday. So thank you so much Anna Louisa for sending me all of these goodies. I'm so excited to pack them with me and wear them on my holiday. And if you wanna check out Anna Louisa, they're currently running their biggest sale, which is buy one, get one at 60% off. So it's perfect for Christmas presents. And then because it's buy one, get 60% off, you can also maybe put in a little Christmas present for yourself as well. Um, but I would highly recommend checking out the website. They have so many different designs. They have pieces ranging from really standout pieces to a lot more everyday delicate pieces. So I'm sure you'll be able to find something. They also ship worldwide really fast. And I will also pop in the description box the link to the website and also the names of these pieces again in case any of them caught your eye. Okay, so it's now time to get packing. <gasps> so this is a little bit tricky actually, and I, I've kind of thought it out a little bit, but not completely. So I want to majority get everything clothes wise packed today. So this packing video might mostly be clothes. Um, I don't think I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna do a few toiletries, but then I think the electronics or the electricals and the kind of like all the paperwork and stuff I'm gonna do Sunday evening. So I'll probably read out a little list of what I'm gonna pack, but I don't think I'll actually pack it today um, just because I'll need it over the weekend. Enough rambling and procrastinating. So the first things I've laid out are uh, leggings, shorts and trousers. And then I've also laid out all the t-shirts and tops that I'm gonna be bringing. This is actually really hard because we've never been in November and I've heard that it can really differ. It can range from really, really, really hot to a little bit chilly and you might need a cardigan or a jumper, especially in the evenings. And I've never been to Orlando when it's like that. I've always been when it's just super, super hot. So it's a little bit harder to know what to bring. I've checked the um, weather and the weather at the moment ranges from but it ranges from 21 degrees up to about 28, 29 degrees. So it does sound like it's gonna differ maybe by 10 degrees a lot of the days. So I feel like I do need to have a little bit of both. So let's start with this pile, which are the bottoms. So I think I'm gonna bring two pairs of leggings. So this is if it's a little bit colder and I don't want to wear shorts, but I don't want to wear full jeans. I thought leggings might be a good option and I can wear them with like a really oversized t-shirt or I could wear them with a dress. Um, so if it's a little bit chilly, I could pop them on underneath. So I'm bringing a gray pair and a black pair, both from H&M. And I actually wore these to Disneyland Paris recently and they were really comfortable. Then we're moving on to shorts, <laughs> old faithful. So these shorts I wore to death <laughs> in Orlando a couple of years ago and they are from, I think they're H&M. Yeah, H&M, but ages ago. And they're just so comfortable, really bright, really fun. And they need a little bit of an iron actually, but I think there is an iron um, at both hotels. So that's good. Next. I think these are H&M as well. It's turning into a bit of a H&M haul. But these are the paper bag um, jeans from H&M and these are so, so comfortable. Honestly, the comfiest pair of shorts, I think I said jeans a minute ago, <laughs> the comfiest pair of shorts um, that I've ever owned. I lived in them this summer. So I think I'm gonna wear these a lot. Next are another pair of shorts but they are paper bag and these are threadbare and I got these from ASOS. 
So they're actually more of like a smarter material. Um, they're not denim and they've got a little tie waist. So I can wear these during the day but I feel like I could also dress these up and I really like the colour of them. It's going to be perfect because they're just going to go with everything. And then I got another pair of kind of neutral shorts. These are a bit lighter and these are from the brand Only on ASOS. So these are very light. Again, they're quite quite smart, like you could definitely dress these up. And they have a tie waist as well. So I've got two pairs of leggings, four pairs of shorts. Oh yeah, we're going for 19 days. So it is quite a long trip, but I do believe we have a washing machine in the villa. So when we move to the villa, we'll be able to wash clothes. So I don't really want to over over pack if I can because there will be the opportunity to wash anything that I want to wear again. So let's see. I'll probably end up over packing but that's my plan. <laughs> and then I, I'm going to bring two pairs of jeans. So these are both mum jeans from Primark. So I've got a darker blue and a lighter blue. These are actually really old now. Um, but I'm going to bring two pairs of jeans just in case I want to wear jeans all the time and it is cold enough to wear them. I don't think it will be, but just in case I'm going to bring two pairs um, so that I can alternate if needs be. So that's all of the bottoms that I'm going to bring, so I think that is definitely enough, I hope. <laughs> Next I am moving on, well I've kind of put the tops in kind of order, so these are universal Harry Potter tops. So I have such a beautiful place to be with friends, a little dobby top, I actually wore this um, during our last Orlando holiday and that was from Primark I believe. And then this is new, this is from Amazon and Martin has a Ravenclaw one and it's just a plain grey t-shirt and it says Hufflepuff on it so I thought that'd be perfect to wear to the Wizarding World um Wizarding World Harry Potter but it was from it was just from Amazon so I'm gonna it actually like smells a bit odd so I think I'm gonna wash it before we take it because it is brand new <laughs> We literally got it from Amazon this week. <laughs> so we're like, we don't have any Harry Potter t-shirts. We've got loads of Disney ones, but we need Harry Potter ones. Next, I got my Disney t-shirts. So I'm bringing Goofy Movie, classic. I'm thinking that the weather is gonna be perfect shorts and a t-shirt weather during the day. That's what I'm planning on. Um, I didn't want to bring too many like little camis because I feel like it might be a little bit too cool to wear them maybe but I think a t-shirt with sleeves might be the perfect weather. And then I've got a Hercules that was from Truffle Shuffle I believe. Yep. Uh, this is an old top as well but I thought it's perfect for Animal Kingdom. It was from Zara. I think I got it Zara abroad whilst I was on the ship but it's like an army print Donald and Daisy top so I thought I would bring that because I think I got it on our last contract and at the time I bought it with the intention of wearing it on our honeymoon or our next trip but it was a few years back so I actually don't think I've ever worn this because it's always been waiting to be worn on our honeymoon so it's finally gonna get worn. Next I have a t-shirt which Martin got me, Star Wars. So this will be perfect for when we visit Galaxy's Edge one day. I believe this is from Truffle Shuffle, yes. Uh, then I have these two tops which I actually wore in Disneyland Paris on our recent trip a lot. So these are gonna be perfect with the leggings because they're very oversized if it is a bit cooler. So I've got my oversized Bambi top. This was from ASOS, I believe. And then I have oversized Bambi top again. <laughs> but this was from H&M. I love 
the feel of this fabric. It's so soft. So I have big oversized t-shirts if I want to wear them with leggings, but still be Disney. I then have, oh, this is a new top from Primark. I just thought it was really cute. And it would really go nice with like my neutral pair of shorts or the denim ones. And it's just a little Winnie the Pooh Bear t-shirt. And then the last Disney t-shirt I'm gonna bring is this one from Primark. I saw it the other day and I thought it's perfect to wear to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Because I didn't have a Disney Christmas t-shirt. So I thought that would be perfect. So yeah, that is all the Disney t-shirts. And then I'm gonna move on to non-Disney t-shirts and tank tops. I feel like this is a little bit excessive, is it? it like, I am away for 19 days. Okay, I've got exactly 19 tops. It's because I'm packing for if it's hot or if it's a little bit cooler. And also I'm packing with the intention of not knowing exactly what I'm gonna wear. So I don't think it's overpacking. I don't know. <laughs> so this is a plain t-shirt from Monkey. It is so soft. I was really impressed. Uh, with monkeys basics so this is just a lilac ribbed tee and then I also picked the same one up in this lovely kind of greeny color I then picked up a kind of casual monkey purple stripe top which will just be nice to wear because it's very light picked up another top from monkey it is a boxy crop top so it's like very baggy very boxy i really like the color so these are just plain tops for if i fancy not wearing a disney tee for whatever reason or i just fancy switching it up a little bit and then i also picked up these two cami tops because just in case it's super 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 hot and i'm like oh i don't want to wear a t-shirt i picked up a little black one Again, these are so comfortable. If you're looking for like basics, I'd highly recommend checking out the Monkey website. And then a little light blue one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get much wear out of them, but I thought just in case it's very, very hot and I fancy wearing a cami. And then at the other side of the spectrum, if it's very, very chilly, or not very chilly, but a little bit colder, and I fancy wearing a long top, I picked up this slouchy lilac long sleeve top. This was from Monkey as well. I could also put this over the cami if I wanted layers. And then I'm going to bring one more long sleeve top just because I don't think I'm going to wear a long sleeve top. I think I'm more likely to wear a short sleeve top and then put a cardigan over. But just in case I am cold, this one from Primark. Again, I love this kind of colour. So that is all the tops and bottoms that I am planning on bringing. So I'm going to get them packed in a packing cube and put them in the suitcase. Okay, so we're making progress. They are all in a packing cube, apart from the jeans, uh, because they wouldn't fit. And what's really sad is that I've lost all my packing cubes. I think I broke a lot last year, or whenever I last used them, and I only have two left. So I'm thinking about um, buying some more from Amazon, um, but I might not. I might see if I can just pack it well in the case. So I've only got one more packing cube to use. So I think I'm going to use that on dresses, which is the next kind of segment of this packing video. I've just got them all out. So I'm going to pack my trusty ASOS dress. So this is from um, before the wedding. I actually wore this the day after we got married. 
but it is so comfortable, so lightweight. The perfect dress that I actually think I'll be able to wear around the parks. I know some people don't like wearing like maxi dresses, but I find them really comfortable. So I've got that one. And then I also got it in yellow, because I thought that'd be really cute. So I've got both of them to wear if I fancy throwing on a dress. I then picked up this really, really cute maxi dress from ASOS. It has like rough edges as well, which I love. It's huge. <laughs> it's um, It's got so much fabric, but it's really comfortable once it's on. And I just think it's got like a crisscross back. And how perfect. I think I'm going to wear this with white trainers. And I just think it will be the perfect Magic Kingdom outfit. I just think you could get some really cute photos wearing this in front of the castle. So a little bit dressier than I normally go, but I thought it's our honeymoon. If I wanna wear a big dress, then I can do it. <laughs> Next is another little Acer, oh I need to take the tag off this. Um, this is from Acer, but it's from the brand Villa Cloves. Cute little tea dress. It's got this lovely, um, collar but I thought that was really cute so that is an everyday dress that I can wear around the parks and then I have this one it's like a midi dress this is from influence but I got it from ASOS has little puff sleeves and then it's a midi a midi length and I think this will be perfect for like a date night so if we go out in the evening, because sometimes what I like to do is wear like shorts and t-shirt throughout the day, but then if we come back and head to a park in the evening, or if we come back and then head out for dinner, it's nice to pop on a little summer dress, even though it's not summer anymore, but <laughs> the weather <laughs> will make me feel like it's summer. And then, oh, this is a top to wear, it's a dress to wear to the pool. So it's like a perfect little sundress just to wear over your uh, bikini or swimsuit. And then last but not least, this is from Monkey. It's so lightweight and comfortable and it's this sunflower tea dress, which again is just really super cute. I feel like this will look really cute at Animal Kingdom. So yeah, I'm bringing quite a few more dresses than I normally do if I'm honest. But I just feel like dressing up a little bit. I might not once I'm there, but I thought I'd like to have the option of wearing a dress if I feel like it. And then I'm also going to show you what swimsuits I'm bringing. So I'm bringing a like bog standard um, sporty one because sometimes I find these are the best to wear at water parks just because they're very supportive, they're very easy to wear, you don't have to worry about you know them riding up or falling down or anything so I have that one which is a Reebok one and then I have this spotty bikini from ASOS which is super cute and then last but not least this is more of like a lounging around the pool maybe wear it in the jacuzzi kind of vibe this was from ASOS it's a little bit different to me it's quite like old-fashioned I feel like it's quite a vintage looking one so it has lemons on it <laughs> and it's all ruched here and then it's just like a plain swimsuit but it's really cute when it's on and it has little ties I don't think this one will be very good for water parks because of um, the tie I believe that could come undone which would be pretty embarrassing so I feel like that's definitely going to be more of a lounging around the pool or wearing at the villa kind of vibe so i'm gonna see if all of this fits in this very small packing oh just hit my face <laughs> this very small packing cube so i've put all of them into packing cubes i've also got a little packing cube slash i'm using the laundry pouches um so that has socks in and this has knickers and bras in i thought i would just quickly show you though 
So I mostly think I'm gonna wear comfy wireless bras from Primark. I find these really comfortable and yeah, I think I'm mostly gonna wear them. I also have some wireless ones from Monkey and this is Monkey as well. So yeah, super comfy. And then I'm gonna wear some, I've packed loads of like white socks and different Disney socks, but I recently got these stitch ones from Primark. So I wanted to show you them before I pack them. I just think they're super cute. So gonna be wearing a lot of Disney socks. I then also have some jumpers just in case. I actually am planning on buying a spirit jersey when we're there and hopefully if I buy it like ahead of time then I'll be able to wear it a lot but we're gonna wear I think we're gonna wear these on the plane our just married jumpers um from dinky dreams co I'll pop her lovely Etsy store we were actually gifted these so thank you so much but I'll pop her Etsy store in the description box but how cute so we're gonna wear them to the airport oh hello martin hello got a got a, got a ohana you got a ohana breakfast in ohana yay a little bit of disney planning there well done was that through that website yeah i'll have to talk about it when we're there yeah we found it well we were told a website by kershaw adventure that helps us get dining reservations if one comes up for the for evening then we'll switch. go for that and we'll swap. We've right. wanted a Hana though, but it'd be actually quite nice to like try out the breakfast. How excited! <laughs> Little bit of Disney magic there. And then I'm packing this super cozy Primark jumper. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be that cold, but this will be good for the villa because the aircon is strong in there. I'm also going to pack these more lightweight cardigans that's from primark and this one as well so i think these will be a bit lighter to wear than a jumper if it is a bit chilly and then last but not least i have this oversized mickey mouse plain jumper to wear too that was from primark as well so i think that's all the jumpers i'm gonna bring and then buy a spirit jersey when i'm out there Okay, so since you last saw me, I've changed the battery and I had to pop on my Christmas, I really want to bring this with me, but I don't think it's going to fit in the case, um, Primark Udi. It is honestly the comfiest thing ever. I love it so, so much. Um, but yeah, just pop that on so I'm cosy. I've also put together the last few bits that I think I'm going to do tonight. So I've got a few accessories to show you, pyjamas, some toiletries, and then I think the rest I'm going to do Sunday um, because I need to use stuff like makeup and all my hair, like el electrics, like um, straighteners, etc. I'm going to have to use them over the weekend. So let me show you these little bits. So I'm going to be bringing all of these ears. I'm sure I will pick up some new ears as well. <laughs> I have to try and fit them all in. I'm gonna bring my new Adidas cap and I actually have another cap on its way. It's a goofy cap um, from Amazon. So that should arrive hopefully tomorrow. So that will pop in as well. I might wear this to the airport um, so I don't have to pack it actually. Next I've got pyjamas. These are just like a cozy lounge set to wear in the villa. Then I've got some long pyjamas, some spotty short pyjamas and some pink ones. This pouch is literally filled with masks. <laughs> I'm just bringing so many because um, I'm probably going to want to change up like two or three times a day. I found another packing cube so I've literally filled it with toiletries. So I've got ibuprofen and paracetamol. I'll just kind of do a little overlay. Um, shampoo, conditioner, mouthwash, some spare toothbrushes. I'm going to bring our um, electric ones. And then I've got a face Garnier sun cream. And then I've also got little miniatures to take with us to the parks. And then I've also got bigger ones at the bottom. Shower gel. It's just packed to the brim with everything you would possibly need. 
these are the bags that I'm gonna bring. So I've got my little lounge fly, Mickey one, my Marvel lounge fly, and then also my Winnie the Pooh hype bag. So this is the one which I think I'm gonna take on the plane with me. So I'm gonna pack that on Sunday night with everything that I'll need for the plane. I'm also gonna pack this Pack-A-Mac, which I'll probably take to the parks most days. This was from Primark and it was a really good find. It wasn't too expensive and it just means that it packs into a little bag. And then you can have it with you for those thunderstorms. Um, I've also got miniature sun creams, which I'll be able to pack in my bag. I've got some sunglasses, hand gel, my headphones. I've got my Ray-Bans, an umbrella. And then I'm gonna pack some hair stuff. So I've got hair ties, some scrunchies, and a hairband. Um, so I'm gonna pack that all in there. And then moving over to here, I'm not gonna bring loads of jewelry with me. Um, I'm gonna bring my new Ana Luisa hoops. These are the ones that I showed at the beginning of the video. I'm gonna bring a little ring. Um, these are Ana Luisa as well, but I think these will be perfect to wear with the summer dresses. Also, these are Ana Luisa too, and they're little lightning bolts, which will be perfect for Harry Potter. Uh, this is an Anna and Louisa necklace as well. Um, so I'm going to bring that and I'm going to pop it all in my little bag. And then I'm also going to bring the ones that I showed at the beginning of the video. Um, but I'm just wearing them at the moment. But I'm going to pop them all into here. So then, of course, I'm going to be bringing stuff like makeup and hair straighteners and hair curlers. Um, but as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to need them over the weekend. So I'm going to pop them in on Sunday evening. But yeah, there's a little bit of a general gist of what I'm going to bring. So I'm going to pop all that into the case. And then I think I will show you what shoes I'm bringing. And then I think I'm going to call it a night for tonight. Um, I don't think I really need to pack too much else. Also, Martin's very kindly wrote me this list. Um, so I'll go through this. This is documents and electricals that we're going to bring. Okay, so these are all the shoes I'm going to bring. My Reeboks and my uh, very old Reeboks, but they're so comfortable. I've got a new pair of white vans. Look how white they are. Um, I think I'll probably wear them mostly with my dresses. Some pretty grubby flip-flops but they're just to wear uh, down to the pool and then some sandals pop some of the shoes in um that's all clothes there still got quite a bit of room for like a few electricals which is good and then we're there so I'll quickly let you know what documents we're bringing. So we have our e-ticket for the flight, rental voucher for the car, our Esther, all of our Disney and Universal tickets, our document through email, oh, our test results, and also the NHS app and our passports. So I'll be bringing all of those. And then electrical wise, we're gonna bring our magic bands, um, we have a GoPro 8, which we'll be bringing with a charger and a case and the tripod. So that will mean that we'll be able to get some good footage at the water parks and on the rides. Uh, we have our G7X camera and charger, a four USB adapter plug, two US adapter plugs, GoPro chest mount and wrist mount, three Canon batteries, a portable charger, laptop and charger and a hard drive. So that's a very important list and that will be everything else um, that we'll pack on Sunday night but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed oh actually one more thing to show you so we were looking on Etsy for some cute luggage tags and we found these I'll pop the Etsy store in the description box because I can't remember um, the name now but how cute I don't know if it's focusing ah oh, there we are so this is my one so it's Mickey and Minnie looking over the castle. And then Martin got this Fantasia one. So cool. And then we couldn't help ourselves, but we got ourselves matching passport covers as well. So yeah, I'll pop in the description box the Etsy store. Um, they arrived really fast and yeah, we're really pleased with them. And they're gonna go on my new case. So, so exciting. I can't believe that it is now time to pack for the holiday. 
every little thing that happens just means that we're getting closer and closer to actually going on the honeymoon which will just be amazing uh, so thanks so much for watching make sure you check out Anna Louisa um, all the website details will be in the description box if you fancy getting yourself some new jewellery or you fancy having a look for some gift ideas and a huge thank you to Anna Louisa for working with me again um, it's always such a pleasure to work with you and I think that is it so if you see this video it means that we are on our honeymoon so definitely check out our Instagrams I'm sure we'll be posting loads on there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!